Hi, um, I was just watching footage back and I just wanted to say if I sound congested, it's because I'm battling the flu and it's been like over a week. So if I sound sick, roll the clip. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is um different. How do I explain this? Today I'm gonna be reading you my old Gmail chats with Miley Cyrus. <laughs> You're probably thinking, Liz, there's no way you were emailing the real Miley Cyrus. I know. But nine-year-old me in 2007 would have told you otherwise. I'm just gonna read you my old emails. I'm I don't know why I thought she was real. I just googled Miley Cyrus real email and this was like the first thing that came up and I was like, well, must be real. So I hate myself. Hope you enjoy. So my first email to her was August 8, 2007 and the email was MileySun92 at gmail.com. So I said, hi Miley, I'm a huge fan. And she goes, thanks. And I go, you're so cool. And she goes, yep, lol. And then I said, awesome. And she goes, this is really me, Miley. And I just fucking believed her. We just chat for a little bit. And then out of nowhere, I go, so do you have a crush on Cody Lindley? And if you don't know, Cody Lindley is the guy that played Jake Ryan in Hannah Montana. Oh, well, yeah, maybe a small one. And then I go, well, I do, but dot, 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 dot. Not so much a big one, but a little. And she goes, yeah, I understand. And I go, I sent you mail, the Disney one. I got it from your website. And she just sent a smiley face. And I go, so is there another contest coming up? And she goes, I think later we want to do another one after High School Musical 2. And I said, cool, could you let me know when there is? Oh, because I wanted to meet you. You're my idol. And I spelled idol wrong. And then later I go, and I got the Hannah Montana 2 CD the day it came out. I was so excited. And she sent a smiley face and goes, I have a couple more CDs coming. And I said, really awesome. I think in my nine year old brain, I was like, oh my God, she just told me that there's more CDs coming. Like she's probably right. That means she's probably real. And then she goes, thanks. We're also making a Hannah Montana movie, maybe. And I remember flipping the fuck out because I was a diehard Hannah Montana fan, if you couldn't tell. And then she goes, it's called Hannah Montana, the movie. And I think I lost my damn mind when she told me that. So there were some more chats exchanged. And then on August 13th, 2007, I emailed her and the subject line was not like Yahoo, like the website. I think I meant, whoa! And I emailed her and I go, hi Miley, I'm so excited. I get to go to your concert at Van Andel Arena on December 6th. I'm so excited. You're the greatest. Peace, love always, Elizabeth. <laughs> That's how I feel about this. Why did I think this? person was legit oh my god she sent a mass email out september 22nd emailed everybody in bright pink font and she goes hi everybody i'm checking in again i'm so excited my tour starts in one month i hope all of you have tickets because it's going to be a rockin concert with the jonas brothers and myself this is going to be the biggest best loudest concert ever so make some noise i'm having a good time turning my work in and i hope all of you are having fun at school ttyl love ya miley Oh, and then things took a turn. September 29th, I emailed her. Hey, Miley, I'm probably not going to be able to go to your concert at Van Andel. My aunt is having a really hard time getting tickets. Check this out. My aunt made a Miley World account so she could get tickets right then. When she went to get some, they were sold out. So I'm probably not going to go. Just give me a scoop on how it goes. P.S. They sold out in two to three minutes. Van Andel hasn't had that happen since the Rolling Stones went there for a concert. My she sent out another mass email. October 12th, 2007. Hey everyone, I'm so excited. I can't stand the pressure. My tour starts in like six days and it's so exciting. I can hardly wait. I'm sorry if I'm not able to complete pose as many emails at the moment but i hope everyone's got tickets it's the best planned show ever you definitely do not want to miss out on this one of a kind party hey that's right it's more like a party than a concert yeah so i better get back to what i was doing so bye love ya miley oh my god okay so i guess i was like really crushed that i couldn't go and i emailed her back and i go thanks miley but i don't want to talk about it no offense <laughs> i really had some balls like I know now it wasn't a real Miley, but like back then I thought it was real and I was just like, send Miley, I really don't want to talk about this hard time right now. She sent out another mass email. Why don't I remember this? October 25th, 2007. Hey everyone, I'm having the best time on my tour ever. It's more than I ever asked for. It's so fun to see everyone pumped up for the concert. I hope everyone's doing well in school and I can't wait to see some of you at the concerts. 
Right now, I'm sitting on my bus with my laptop typing an email to all of you. After this, I think we're gonna go out to eat then get ready for my next event. By the way, any of you that are in Southern Cali, I hope all of you are okay by the fires. I know that some people lost their homes and it's very tragic for them having to start all over again. I wish all of you a great day and keep on rocking. Love ya, Miley. That's like really nice. This 54 year old man was pretty thoughtful. I remember this. We all know I write songs, I'm a songwriter. And Hannah Montana, Miley Cyrus was like my biggest inspiration when I was little. So I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna write a song and I'm gonna send it to her and see if she'll record it or like use part of it. This is the song that I sent her and it's called Superstar. I know that dreams always come true. I have a dream, but I can't succeed it. I want to be a superstar, but I think that I've gone too far. So the chorus is, I wish I wish that I could live my dream. I wish I wish I could do anything. I wish I wish I could be Supergirl. I wish I wish I could be a superstar. Second verse, sometimes I see myself performing on stage when it is really late. I see myself on my own show with you taking over my shadow. And the bridge is, sometimes I see myself staring towards the sky, but I just don't know why. And then she emailed me back and I remember shitting myself. I was so excited. And she goes, that's a really cool song. I like the lyrics. Hmm, maybe I'll use part of it in one of my songs. Who knows if it will come out on my new CD? Well, I need your permission first to use a few lines. Love ya, Miley. And then I emailed her back and I go, that would be fine. You can change it a little if you want. You can use the whole thing if you would like. But if you decide to use it, just let me know and I'd like to hear it if you do. Thanks so much. This really means a lot to me. And then Miley, Miley really shut me down with this next email. It was a few months later. It was November 12th. And she goes, yeah, I asked the producer if I could publish some of those lines, dot, dot. He was like, nope. He also said a few more things, but I don't really have the heart to say them. It's a great song. He just said it doesn't fit the theme of Hannah Montana and everything else. I understood what he meant and I apologize for this. Have a rockin' week. Love, Miley Cyrus. <clears throat> I responded and I go, okay, I understand too. It just kind of came to me when I was going on my way up north, but I'll keep writing songs since I enjoy doing it. But thanks for trying. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Peace, love always, Elizabeth. Here I am still writing songs, even though Miley Cyrus shut me down. Saved the best for last because I don't know what compelled me to write this email, okay? But I did. So on Saturday, November 17th, 2007, I emailed Miley. This is when Disney Channel was doing the send it on commercials and like songs. Um, so I emailed her and I go, hey Miley, what's up? Well, the reason I'm emailing you is because I need your help. We'll at least try. I was wondering if you could help stop global warming. Help stop global warming. Help stop global warming. Dot, dot, dot. I'm just really concerned. I'm not sure why though, I just don't want anything to happen. Well, thanks for your time, Miley. Immediately when you get this email, please email me back. Um, and not to be dramatic, like, I'm, not, I'm not saying that I influenced Miley's career at all, but after I sent this email, she released her breakout hit from her album Breakout called Wake Up America. On that note, you're welcome for that song. There are plenty more emails with this fake Miley. A little nine-year-old me thought she was real. I hate myself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see some more of my really old emails, because I also emailed a fake Taylor Swift and Zac Efron, let me know and I can do that. All right, I love you guys with my whole heart and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>